What is up, YouTube? I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64, bringing you the finale portion of Mario Kart Wii's portion of the Mario Kart console tour. In the last episode, we took on Coin Runners and absolutely demolished, except for one game which we ended up drawing. Which I don't mind. Draws are fun. But, now that we're near the finale, we've got to tackle some versus races. Why? Well, that's how we're going to be wrapping up all of these. Just doing some versus races. And you can do it as solo, or you can do it as a team. Um, I doubt we'll be doing team races again anytime soon, so we'll just go with the team races. And I'll take the monkeys, Koopa, and Toad on my team, and oh, Birdo. That's fun. Okay, but before we... Oh, I'm going to have to change. The teams are going to change. Oh, well. I'm going to show you the rules that we have set up. We have a hundred... Uh, change it to 150cc, normal computers, all car, all vehicles. I get to choose the courses, balanced items. And we'll go team race. Stick with Toadette. Let's see if we can get rid of that monstrosity Birdo. And we did. And I traded Donkey Kong for King Boo. Okay. Uh... I like those teams actually. Those teams actually look pretty fair. Uh, give me my jet. Okay. That's an adorable little bike, and I think Toadette looks cute on it. Okay. We're doing 12 races. So we've got 12 choices for courses to race on. And with those 12 choices, I'm going to pick my 12 favorites. I'm going to try to keep it as balanced as possible, but for the most part, we're just going to be racing on courses that I thoroughly enjoy. And in this one's case, we are going to be racing on Bowser Castle 3 as the leadoff. Why? Well, because I like it. And we can close off this portion of the Mario Kart Wii dump by basically taking a look at the remaining LPs that I have let yet to discuss that I talked about in Mario Kart DS's portion, where for the most part, we're going to take a look at... And if I'm not mistaken, we left off last time with Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, I, I want to say we left off with Kingdom Hearts 2 last time. I might be one. I might be wrong. But I think we left off with Kingdom Hearts 2, which means LP number 34 was the first Mystery Box project, which is Rugrats Studio 4. And I honestly haven't talked about Rugrats Studio 4 already. Um, no, I don't remember where we were. Oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll zoom the next time we do something. Right now, we're, I'm just going to focus on basically the future projects because I know I don't like to talk about them too much but they are forthcoming and they should be they should be mentioned because well they're future projects the 50s are going to be a very weird LP thing now it's going to start basically like most of my decades of things to do uh, or like these things the first few projects, you're going to sit there and go, how is this going to be weird? You're doing projects from franchises that you know or franchises that you've done before. So it's like, I'm not going to tell you what they all are, but I can assure you the next game that we're doing is for sure going to be Bowser. And that, if you so choose to. Let's hit that. There, goodbye, good luck, and good riddance. I'm not going to tell you when the LPs are, but I can assure you of a few of them that are forthcoming. Now, I've already mentioned Pokemon Scarlet, which, yes, is going to cover the entirety of the Pokemon Scarlet main story. And I'm going to try to do as many things as possible, like try to complete the Pokedex. I don't know what I'm going to do team-wise for that game. I don't know if I'm going to shuffle Pokemon in and out. Pokemon. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And I also haven't decided if I'm going to buy both the DLC for Violet and then the DLC for Scarlet as well. 
you'll have to make that decision coming up. But I'm going to be doing the DLCs for Scarlet for sure. Violet is up in the air, so I don't know just yet what we're going to do there. So basically what I've decided to do is, before I go into a, a retrospective about this game, and I mean, I've already done that, and just go into like what the future holds, because we do have four more Mario Kart games to go through after this. Um, Pokemon Scarlet is basically the freebie of the LPs that I'm mentioning that are going to be coming up. I'm not going to tell you what the rest of them are because that sort of defeats the purpose. And we're I we had the first two slots and we're still losing. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so but we still got 11 more races to correct that mistake. And from Bowser Castle three. I think we should jump to Mario Raceway. And I enjoy that one too. Um, the Pokemon Scarlet is a freebie that's going to be in the 50s. There are There is another Pokemon game that is coming in the 50s. I'm not telling you what it is yet because reasons. But yes, I basically just gave you another freebie. There is another Pokemon game coming in the 50s in terms of LPs. Uh, Big Shock in the 50s is also Kingdom Hearts 3. Which... I'm going to have to buy the DLC for that. I'm going to have to buy, like, a month of PlayStation Online and then just buy the DLC and then just cancel. So, if there's no grace period of, like, what we have to do to get through thing, I think we'll be okay. I just got to buy the DLC for it. Or I can... Oh, my God. I can get the cloud version and play it on my Switch. Disaster. But yeah, my PS4 has been having internet connection issues, so that should be fun. I mean, I wouldn't mind just playing the OG version and just leaving it at that because the DLC really only adds stuff for future material, not like it doesn't really like add anything to the gameplay outside of like a few interesting cutscenes and secret boss battles. It's basically like basically, I don't know, it's, it's not as good as, it's basically not as fleshed out as, it's basically not as fleshed out as, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is in. It's, it's sort of just like, it's just slapped in there, the DLC. I'm not a big fan of it. But, I'm also not a big fan of the game in general, but I can assure you that is one of the games, one of the spoiler games that is coming. But you probably could have seen that coming since we did Dream Drop Distance not too long ago. Or the 2.8 not too long ago. So the only thing after that is 3. Uh, after that, I don't think there's going to be any more Kingdom Hearts games I play. Except maybe Kingdom Hearts 4. And that's specifically because of Kingdom Hearts 4. Actually, that, that, that even depends on what system it's on. Because I'm not, I am not jumping systems anymore for Kingdom Hearts. After Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm not doing it anymore. I literally jumped up two systems to do that. I did PS3 and the PS4. And believe it or not, guys, I am not made of money, so because of that, I I need to make decisions about what's going to help my channel length instead of focusing on, ooh, shiny system, me want. I have to decide things now. It's kind of important. Alright, we rectified that, and we're up by 20 points now. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, yes, is a that's coming. Uh, I got four more I've got to reveal for you guys, but again, I'm not giving you the numbers. Another abundantly obvious one that should shock nobody is... Uh, Mario Party 7, which is going to be coming up. Again, not soon, since we only did Mario Party 6 earlier this year. So, naturally, no, we're not going to be going through that and jumping right into another Mario Party anytime soon. Probably at some point next year. That might actually be the LP that we're going into in uh, November when I'm going to be going to Disney. But again, no promises. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell that, but yes, Mario Party 7, we're going to be doing that. We're going to do all six boards, 
Um, I don't remember if you can access the Bowser minigame without playing story mode, so you might end up having to do story mode for that. Uh, we'll do all this here with all the side modes. Might do an extra battle, uh, an extra, like, minigame mode, uh, personal one. Might do an extra person mode, battle mode, party mode. Day. Might do an extra party mode if we see all the we need to. If we do, cool. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. But I'm not too bugged out. I'm not too bugged out about it. Of all the GameCube games, it's definitely the one I grew up with and the one I played the most growing up. But aside from that, I'm not like too. Another project, which I'm sure you guys have seen coming since I mentioned it earlier, I believe we're going to do a double mash. Uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon is coming up. We've got to wrap up the Spyro franchise, the, the Reignited trilogy very soon. And Year of the Dragon is the one that I've been waiting for because that is the one that is the best in the franchise, especially if you ask me. I probably played one the most, but the three is the one that is the one that I freaking enjoy playing. But yeah, obviously that's coming up, and like with Crypto's Rage, we are going to 100 percent it. So we're hoping that it's gonna be like are thinking it's gonna be like Spyro 1. No, we're gonna 100 percent it. I felt bad about not being 100 percent Spyro 1, which now I think about it, yes, we didn't end up keeping the works too. We had to invent it on something. Talked about that. Tell me, here you go, end man. Okay, uh, that's three projects. Uh, the fourth project that should be forthcoming, and this one might be a surprise to some of you, but we will be talking about it more as we get closer to the 25 games of Christmas because boy, there's a game of Christmas. That's gonna be Banjo Kazooie, which is one of the greatest platforming games of all time. How is that the best platform game of all time? It's like, it's... <laughs> no, but Banjo-Kazooie is one of the best platform games of all time. And I, that is a hill that I'm, I'm proud to die on if I have to. Now granted, I have not 100%ed the game, I think, ever. So that should be fun. I usually just go right to Grunty by the end. Not particularly caring about my uh, all the extra stuff you can get if you're at 100%. To be fair, like I don't really care about any of that because well, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be focusing on the end game. But hey, what you gotta do? Uh, the fifth and final LP of this of this that I'm going to reveal. That is forthcoming. Is another one that I've teased, and it's actually once we've done Year of the Dragon, it'll be the only game in my all-time top five favorite video games that we have not tackled yet. I've shown video footage of it because I did it for a Q&A session several years, many years ago. I'd say back in like 2015 we did it. Um, And that would be Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PS2. That is the last of the top five all-time favorite video games of mine that we have to add, other than after Year of the Dragon, of course, because think about it. We've done Kingdom Hearts 2, which is my all-time favorite video game. We've done Super Smash Bros. Brawl. We've done... Oh, actually, no, it's not the final one. Wow, boy. Yeah, nice try. Nice try, Peach. Nice try. I know you're trying to pass that freaking death cloud on to me. Not happening today, sweetie. We actually haven't covered them all now that I think about it. Super Smash Bros. Brawl is part of the anthology series. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Spyro Year of the Dragon. Star Wars Battlefront 2. And if I'm not mistaken, the, the other fifth one should be that... Uh, that Pokemon game. Actually, no, it's not that Pokemon game. It's another Pokemon game I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, but yeah. 
we got a lot of projects coming up, including some that I have not even mentioned yet, which I'm really excited to start with, to consider getting ready to go. So we are in good hands and get heading into the 50s here. Alright, let's go for this Toadette. We got one more lap. Hopefully we'll build up on our commanding lead. The rest of our team seems to be slumping behind, so I think Blue is gonna close the gap here, unless some miracle happens. Uh but no, I think I think that's good about what I want to reveal about this, because there's the rest of this game, the rest of this is basically gonna be me gushing about things I enjoy about Warrior Force Game. I spent a lot of this game a lot of the time in this game bitching about things like the controls that just randomly lock up on you, whether it be the bullshit AI. I, I complain way too much about a game that I really do enjoy, so I should bring up one of the, uh, some things that I do enjoy about this game. Obviously the graphics, which, while aren't as great as Mario Kart 8, I mean, come on, Mario Kart 8 looks freaking amazing even now. I do enjoy the graphics in this game. It's definitely a big leap. It's a leap up from Double Dash, which itself still looks really good. I genuinely think that this might be one of the best looking Mario Kart games of them all. And they closed the gap by a wide margin. Guys, I need you to get your shit together.